what is up you guys it is your girl Casey I am back with another video and I'm super excited to be back as always <laughs> you guys we are doing another haul video but I'm actually doing a coat haul video and I was a little bit hesitant about doing that because it is hot <laughs> and I know it's May and almost the end of May and it's like who the heck wearing coats in May I don't know but if you guys haven't noticed that the weather it has been a little bit chilly it was hot today and it was hot maybe like yesterday but it literally only been hot for like three days and it's been cold all the way up until May so um, while we were in quarantine and dealing with the coronavirus and all of that and I hope you guys are safe out there wearing your mask and washing your hands and wearing your gloves when you're going out I also have been taking advantage of the quarantine sales that they've been having online with pretty little thing fashion over all these companies online are having like major major sales <laughs> so all the coats that i'm going to be showing you in this video i think the full price is like 90 dollars all the way up to like 115 dollars i bargained the heck <laughs> out of a sale because i got these coats for only 30 dollars like if y'all not taking advantages of these coats right now so y'all can be you know on fleek when the winter time come back we only gonna have like a month of summertime and then next thing you know it's winter time again because <laughs> We in quarantine. But before we get into the video, disclaimer. So this is bed hair. Yes, so this is my same hair that I've always been rocking, the Coco and Bliss Beauty. I have not detangled my hair in the past four or five days. So this is four or five day hair without being detangled. So it gets a lot bigger and huge when you don't detangle it. So we're gonna get right into the video. I don't wanna be chit chat like I always be doing and let's get right into it. All right, you guys, so the first coat that I'm going to put on is this red PU aviator coat, which came in this beautiful red color. So it has like this type of material on the outside and then it has like fur on the collar and it's like faux fur all the way through the jacket. So I'm going to go ahead and try it on for you guys. I did get it in a size 10 and I did want to go down a size at first, but then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to keep it like this just in case. Um, I did want to put like a sweater or something on under it, but I don't think I would wear like a sweater I would just wear it just like this. So it was a little big in the arms I definitely do feel like it fits in the bodice part it's super cute You can wear it open just like this triangle cut in the, the collar and then it also has this belt here So you can definitely just kind of rock it down and open just like this put it on top of something really cute like what I have on. And I just have a basic strapless dress that's really simple. That way you just throw this on top of it. So you can wear it just like this if you want. And if you wanna zip it up, you can kind of zip it up halfway, kind of let the, um, the flaps hang down just like that. But I did get a regular size 10 and this is how this one looks. And yeah, and then with some sunglasses, oh my God, like this would be, so freaking cute and then this is how it's looking in the back also if you just want to be cute and you know take it off showcase your outfit whatever cute outfit you have on you can just take a pose strike with it on your shoulders just like this and just kind of walk around with it so it's really cute um you can rock this with some biker boots you can rock it with um some sneakers if you want on the go it's kind of like that casual type look that dressed down type look but it definitely dresses it up just a little bit because it has that pop of red color so yeah so this is just really cute you can wear it on your shoulders like this and definitely strike a pose for the camera. The jacket was only like $43 with it being on sale. I'll put it down on the screen so you guys can see. So the original price is this price there. <laughs> and then also, um, I only got it for $43. So you guys definitely gotta catch up on the jacket sales and get the sales while you can right now. The only thing I would say is to go down the size if you get their regular sizing. So this is a size 10 and like I said, I probably would be better with a size eight but um the 10 is fine i just kept it like like i said just because i don't feel like shifting things back but yes if you're going to get a petite size you can definitely get your regular size in a petite so they do have petite and they do have tall on um pretty little thing their coats are extra big so make sure you go down the size when you are getting the size yes you can get right into the next coat and i'm going to show you guys so the next coat i bought was this olive green faux fur coat i ordered five coats 
and then only two of them fit and then I had to reorder some coats so this is part of my reorder so I did get this one in a petite size in a petite size 10 it fits perfect so I feel like all the petites fit like a regular size that I normally wear and then the regular sizing with pretty little thing you have to go down a size as you guys can see here it do have that, that cut out triangle um, at the neckline but it do feel pretty lightweight it do have like this a faux satin type material on the inside or faux poly I don't know what it's called and then it has like this soft thin layer of faux fur on the top of it you definitely gonna have to layer some pieces when you do wear this in the winter time a state like Georgia this would keep you pretty warm in the winter time so if it's not like brick coat like Chicago New York Canada you would definitely be able to get away with this with just like what I have on thin layer of clothing and then throw this on top and you will be warm but if you want to be extra warm you're gonna have to put on like multiple layers of clothes to put on under it because it is like a thinner material this coat was only $36 the most I did pay for a coat was this one which is $43 this is how this one look it do have these snap buttons on here and I think it's only two so you can just pretty much snap it like this and it do have like these little pockets and inside the pockets it do have the faux satin and then the faux fur as you can see there you can wear it closed or you can wear it open and it's just like a snap so it snaps right open and it snaps closed the um sleeves are a little long so if you're shorter than me i am five two and a half the sleeves are a little bit longer even in the petite sizes all of the regular size coats are like extremely big <laughs> i have to ship those coats back which i still have them i just haven't shipped them back yet but it's not that bad it's not as bad as the other ones because the other ones were ridiculous and it fits perfectly how i want it to fit it's not too big it's not too small throw the coat back and strike a pose and you know just be cute you might as well take advantage of these coat sales now but the original price is like 115 dollars and i don't think it's worth it to be honest so you might as well go ahead and buy it while it's 36 dollars on sale so yeah this is how this one looking and i'm gonna turn around super freaking cute and I just had to get this olive green color because it's just a nice color to go in my wardrobe and I have some green outfits that I can totally pair this with and kind of keep it like a monotone look we'll get right into the next coat so the next coat was a part of my reorder because it was extremely big on me so i'll show you guys in my next video like i said of all the rejects and i ordered this coat twice so i ended up going down the size so this one is a size 8 and the other one was a size 10 so like i said this one's the regular sizing their standard sizing that they have a pretty little thing but i ended up going down the size if i ordered in a petite size i kept it in a size 10. Whew. So this one is a lot longer than the rest of them. So, you know, I started off with the shorter jacket. This one's a little longer. And then I do have one more that is super long, which is this color here, which you guys will see a little bit later. Same neck shape. As you can see, it has that little cutout there. It's really soft. The feeling of this one and this one feels pretty much the same, but this is their uh, taupe faux fur military coat. So definitely giving me that military vibe with the big square pockets. But it is really long, kind of gives me that chic New York style, that like street look or whatever. You walking down the streets of New York with your bag in the winter time and you know, you got your your turtleneck and all that stuff you kind of look cute in the street with your long coat on the cost of this one i'll put down on the screen again the original price versus what i actually paid for it and i paid 34 dollars 34 dollars this one was cheaper than this one <laughs> the only downside i do say about this one was two two downsides one it was extremely big when i got it so i had to go down the size and then two, it don't really look like the color that they're showing on the website, which kind of look a little bit on the darker brown side. I mean, it was still taupe, but I thought it was like a darker brown taupe with a little bit more brown hue. But um, as you guys can see on camera, it's more of a lighter taupe color. Kind of looked a little ashy at first, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to keep it because, you know... To be honest, I really don't have any coats in my closet. I don't know why. And it's only because I think 
since being back here in Georgia, like, we really haven't had a winter in the past, like, two years. I mean, I think it was cold. Was it cold this year? Yeah, it was kind of cold this year. <laughs> it was cold all the way up into May, like, to now. So that's why I'm doing this video. But, yeah, it was a little chilly this year. It was cold, so I was like, you know, I definitely want to get a coat. And then, also, my boyfriend lives up in Michigan, which gets really cold. And then when we went to Chicago, oh, my God, it was brick. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I need to get me a coat so that way when I'm traveling back and forth, I can have something nice to put on top of that. But like I said, that Chicago type weather, you are still gonna be cold in this. Like you need a Sherlin up there. You gonna need that heavy, heavy coat. This is not heavy. This is like really super lightweight. <laughs> so this size eight fit just like how my petite size 10 fit. It's super perfect. I have enough arm space, like I like it, but it is still a little big, but I mean, it's fine. Like I said, I can kind of just, when I bend my arms, they would um, kind of rise up a little bit, so it's fine. And it do snap open and close. I most likely will keep it closed if I'm freezing, but if I'm trying to be cute and sexy, I'm not gonna be looking like a grandma like this. I'm gonna keep it sexy, I'll pop it open. But yeah, this is how it looks closed. And then this is how it looks open. <laughs> so you know, you gotta keep it open, keep it funky and fashionable. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna turn around to the back so you guys can see it. Yeah, so you can definitely pop the collar. Like, let's say, well, right now I got a lot of hair on my head, but if you have like this high ponytail, you can pop your collar, throw some shades on with it. It'd be like fashionably chic and cute, and I absolutely love it. Like, I'm in love with all of these coats. The only one I was a little iffy about was this one, but I knew this one was gonna serve a certain look, that kind of biker lifestyle type look. So that's why I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep this one. But the green one, hmm. It's okay, it's just a cute color to have in the wardrobe. This one, I absolutely love. Like, that <laughs> that long coat, that oversized type look. I mean, I didn't want it to be, like, crazy oversized, like how the size 10 was, but I did want it to look like this, like a nice fitted coat that's super fashionable, super chic, super cute. <laughs> so I had to get it, and it was only $36. Boom. That's $10 three times and an extra six dollars. Boom. You can afford this coat. You can afford this coat. I really, really love this. Like I said, the sizing is a little off, so make sure you guys find your perfect sizing. Petite, order your regular size. And if you're tall, probably order your regular size as well. But yeah, so we're gonna get it right into the next coat and let's go. So the last coat for this haul that I got is this faux fur belted coat. So this is pretty much how this jacket looks. They all pretty much feel the same. This one just feels a little bit rougher, but it is still that soft material. Um, it just has a little texture added to this one versus these. These are a lot more silkier filly. I do have that um, cutout at the neckline as well, that little triangle shape at the flap. It don't have any buttons, so it is like a crossbody jacket. And then I do have like this belt that you tie with it, so this is how it looks closed. And you know, you can just pretty much wear it like how you want and then open it if you want to kind of have a little leg exposure. It's a little weird to have pockets all the way back there versus like if they were like right here and then you can kind of just slide them in easily. But it's like you gotta hike your arms all the way back <laughs> to like put your arms in your pocket. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you guys from the back so it do accentuate your waist a little bit and it kind of flares down. I probably will be wearing this coat open as well um, just to kind of get that cute look when you want to take a pose or take pictures and yeah I thought this one had a hood to it um, but it didn't have a hood so I thought it was gonna have like a different style jacket with one with a hood and at least the rest of these have all these collars without hoods but yeah so this is how this one looks it's a super cute color nice for the fall you can kind of transition it from fall all the way into winter and then also the taupe is more like a year-round color they all feel pretty lightweight not like crazy lightweight it's like a medium weight it's not like heavy at all like a sherlin movie yeah it's just super cute to have in your wardrobe and i think i only paid 31 dollars <laughs> 31 dollars for this coat so like i said all of these coats were what 43 dollars 34 dollars 36 dollars within that $30 range and $40 range. That's pretty good for four coats. Actually, it was five coats, but like I said, in my rejects video, you guys will see the other coat that I'm gonna be shipping back. But the original price was like $115. And I mean, 
$115. I don't know, I might have bought it, but like one, two, three, four, I would have spent like over $450. So if you guys are not taking advantage of their sales, you might as well go ahead and take advantage of their coat sales that they're having or their major sales that they're having in general. I've been taking advantage of their coats and I think you guys should do the same because they're really cute, fashionable, and chic and it pretty much just make any outfit in the winter time just pop. You can just throw some heels on with it, you can throw some sneakers, um, whatever you want to do with your outfit and make them look really cute. Alright you guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for always coming back to check out my videos. I will link everything down in the description box so you guys can see what coats I did order. Make sure you guys go down the size, like I said, in your regular sizing. And if you're going to get a petite or tall, make sure you get your actual sizing. So make sure you guys head over to my Instagram and follow me at Miss Casey. M-S-K-A-Y-S-I-E. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know which one of the coats was your favorite and which one you would rock. All in all, I think I paid a total of $186 for five coats and I only kept four and I had to reorder two more coats. So, I think I ended up spending $143 if I add up all the total with the red coat, the green one, the beige, and the orangey color. If I add all four of those together, I think I get a total of like $143. I do have some coats that I need to ship back that I had ordered from Fashion Nova, and also from Pretty Little Thing. So overall, I have like four, I have like seven coats, <laughs> seven coats. I ordered five, but I ended up reordering one of the same. I reordered another one just in case the other one just in case one of my pretty little thing ones didn't fit and yeah it was just a whole bunch of nonsense stuff so i have seven coats and three of them are going back what else i was gonna say <laughs> yeah so the packaging i guess pretty little thing broke it up into like three packages because it was coats so they did try to squeeze two coats in one packaging because you know their packaging is like really thin the two packages came one day and then like three days later or two days later my last package came so I don't know how the order got like mixed up or whatever in the in the shipping process. They probably all went out at the same time and then I got them at different times. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. Also, you guys, make sure you go to my casesclosetcom website. Follow me on Instagram, Casey's Closet, so you guys can see whatever I update and add to my website there. Like I said, it's gently used clothing that I wore one time or either twice or either brand new. So that is it for this video, you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next one. And love ya. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.